Hi everybody, it's McKenna. Thank you guys for tuning in to today's class. I have a little friend with me here today. Hi, my name's Lottie. Hi Lottie, thanks for joining us today. And we're gonna be teaching you how to create homework folders with custom stickers. It's gonna be super fun, so go ahead and let's get started. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and start by talking about the different materials you're going to need for this project. So Lottie, can you tell me what these are right here? These are homework folders. Homework folders, perfect. And we have five different colors um, because we're going to be making five different subjects. So Lottie, what subjects were we doing? We decided math. Mm, math. It was art, art, science, reading, and then writing. writing. Yeah, so we're going to do five different ones, um, but just do the amount of folders that you are doing subjects for. And there were a whole bunch of other colors at the store too. Um, we just grabbed five because that's what we were going to do. And then we're also using white sticker paper here today. Um, I have a couple different sheets, um, but you can just even use one sheet. You can probably fit it on one sheet. It just depends on how big um, you're going to make your different graphics that you're going to be putting. And then um, also we are using a portrait mat. Um, because we are using the Portrait 3 machine. So the Portrait 3 is our perfect little machine that we have here at Silhouette. It's tinier than the Cameo 4, but it is perfect for projects that use 8.5 by 11 media, like this white sticker paper. So those are the um, materials that we're going to be using today, and now we're going to go ahead and jump into the software. And this is what it looks like when we open it up. And the first thing we need to do is we need to change the mat that we're using because last time I was using the bigger mat that's oh, like 12 inches okay. and this one's only eight inches. Um, so I'm gonna have you come over here to the machine and uh -huh. go ahead and click that little drop down menu and then go to portrait three. That's the machine we're using today. And then um, the cutting mat, go ahead and click that one. Uh, that one we're gonna leave the same actually, the feed type. You can leave that one the same. Let's see. There we go. So that one, oh, actually, we don't need to change it because it defaulted mm -hmm. to the portrait. And then the media size, we don't need to change either because it's letter size paper, which is 8.5 by 11, and that's the size of our sticker paper. So that's all we need to do to set up our, um, our mat. But then we're also going to click this show print border um, so that we can see how close to the edge we can print. Um, and the red line is how close to the edge we can cut everything, okay? Okay. So, you don't really need to remember that. We just don't want to touch either of the two lines, or else our design won't print or cut. And then, um, the other thing we need to do that's really important for making stickers is we need to press this button up here, this registration mark. So, can you click that one for me? And then, you're just going to click on. There you go. And these little marks will print on our paper so that the machine knows where to cut our stickers. So okay. that's how it works. It's kind of like magic, right? Mm -hmm. um, so now we get to do the fun part of the project, which is picking our designs that we're going to make. So let's go ahead and go to the design store. So that's what I was showing you earlier. Okay. And then go ahead and click this store tab up here at the top. Perfect. And this pulls up the Silhouette Design Store. And guess how many designs are in the Design Store, Lottie? How much? Over 200,000. So there's a lot of designs <laughs> that we could pick from. Um, but we were kind of talking before about um, what we're going to make for these homework folders. So we want to make a couple stickers that say like Lottie's art folder and mm -hmm. Lottie's English folder. But then also I wanted to make some stickers that you can decorate your folders with, right? Okay. So what do you, what kind of designs do you want to look for? Um, What's some things that you like, some animals you like, um, your favorite food. There's some cute like ice cream designs, butterflies, flowers. Anything you can uh, imagine. I really do like dogs and dogs. elephants. Okay. That's and like, those kind of animals. Right. And I really do like flowers, different kinds of flowers okay. and butterflies. All right. We can, we can work with that. So let's go ahead and look for a cute dog first. That one's kind of cute. What kind of dog are you thinking? What kind of dog do you like? Um, That's a dachshund. Uh, I don't really know which kind of dog I like. I really like any kind of dogs. Any kind, yeah. Unless they're ugly. <laughs> this one's cute. It has a little heart on it. Do you oh, like that one? It's really cute. All right, we'll do this one. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and add that one to our cart. We're mm -hmm. just gonna press this little um, shopping cart down here. And then um, let's look for, you said like an elephant? Yeah, like elephants. That one's cute. Oh my gosh, that one's so You like cute. that one? We'll add uh -huh. that one to the cart. Um, I'm just gonna scroll through. Mm -hmm. These ones are kind of cute. Or uh -huh. this one, the mom and the baby with the hearts. Oh, that one's we cute. Should, we could do that one because the dog had a heart too. So that would be oh, really yeah. cute to and do one like together. And it's like Valentine's. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that would be cute. Yeah. That would be super fun. And then let's look for, you said a flower, right? I love flowers. Let's look for like a set of flowers that we can uh, okay. do like a whole bunch of like different ones, right? Okay, that seems good. Um, I'm gonna actually just sort because I want printing cut flowers, so I'm okay. gonna unclick all, all of them. the other ones. Okay. So just the printing cut options will show up. This one's really cute. I oh, think this one's really cute. Those two are really cute. Yeah, these ones kind of go together. Should we do yeah, those ones? Yeah, okay. do those ones. And maybe this one too. I, that oh, one, yeah. one kind of goes with them too. Or do you like all these like watercolor ones? Let's just yeah. do all those ones. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. I think that's a good amount uh -huh. of flowers. Okay, and then, so let's go to our cart now. So go ahead okay. and click our shopping cart up here. There we go. And then all of our animals, oh, and these animals too that we looked at earlier yes. are there too. Um, so we're just going to come down here to the bottom and it has like our subtotal and then we're just gonna click check out. So you can click check out and that's all we have to do to buy mm -hmm. our designs from the store. So was that easy do you think? Yes. Yeah, it was super easy, right? So now what we're gonna do is we're going to open them in mm. the software so that we can cut them on the machine. Okay. So um, we're gonna go to our library up here. So can you click the library? And then there's a lot of designs. Uh -huh. I have over 1,500 designs right here. So there's a lot of ones in my library. But since it's syncing down here, um, that means that it's adding the designs that we just purchased. So okay. that's super good because that's super easy to put them into our software. So all we need to do is we just need to come up here to the search bar and mm. search for the designs that we just did. Okay. So do you want to type dog into the search bar? There you go. Okay, so here's our cute little puppy right here. I also love this one, French Bulldog with the oh pizza. My. So cute. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm, we're just gonna double click it to open it in the software. And um, then we can just pull it to the side for right now. And we're gonna open up all of our different okay. designs. So then um, let's go back to our library and then we did the elephant, right? Uh -huh. Okay. All right, so we have an elephant. So go ahead and click the elephant that we wanna do. Oh, that looks so cute with uh -huh. the little dog. He's a cute little elephant. Mm -hmm. All right, and then lastly, we had some flowers, right? I have a lot of flowers, so let's find the ones we liked. So they were like these watercolor ones. These, this mm -hmm. one. Yeah, this one and this one and that one. So let's open Oh, and up. that one. Yeah. And then there's that one. So there was this one. We're gonna pull that one to the side. Okay. Those are all of our flowers then. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's kind of look at them and decide which ones we want. Um, this one, I, I don't know if we should use this one because yeah. it doesn't go with the rest of them really. Yeah. Do you think that? Okay, we'll just delete that one. Okay, so now what we're gonna do mm -hmm. is let's start out by arranging these stickers and making them the size we want them and uh -huh. then we'll make the name stickers like your labels yes. afterwards okay so um we are just going to change the sizes of these okay so the way you do that is you just click it and then there's like these little um boxes on the corners uh -huh. and you just hover over the boxes and then drag it down to be the size you want to be mm. and we can actually see when we do that it gives us like the measurement so this one's like 1.9 inches so like two inches wide 
Um, so I'm going to let you change the size of the rest of them and just make sure that they fit inside this red box okay. and that they aren't touching these little like gray, um, gray X's. Do you see okay. those? Yeah. Not those, right? Yep. Okay. So go ahead and do that for a little bit. All right, and then we need to do one more thing for mm -hmm. our elephant and our dog. So you see when we zoom in how like these flowers have like a white outline yeah. around them. So we want to add that white outline to our animals too. Okay. So the way that we do that is we use a tool called the offset tool. Mm -hmm. And it's really, really easy. So we just click the elephant. Uh -huh. So can you click the elephant? And then you're going to click this little star inside a star. And all you're going to do is click offset. And that's it. So see, now we have like a little yes. tiny border around our elephant. So yeah. super perfect. And then all we need to do now is we need to group those together. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So mm -hmm. go ahead and draw a rectangle over both, like over top of the elephant. Yeah, yeah just hold your mouse down. Yep, just like that. So that just selects all of the pieces. And mm -hmm. then we are going to right click. Uh -huh. So to do that on this computer, you just click with two fingers. Uh -huh. And then you're going to come down here and click group. Right there. Perfect. And now you can change the size of the elephant. Mm. Actually, before we change the size of the elephant, let's do that with the dog too. And then let's actually um, duplicate them a little bit so we can have like more than one okay. for your different folders. So it's really, really easy how we do that. We just click it and then we do the right click. We click with mm -hmm. two fingers and then we just click copy and then we right click and paste. And then you can even rotate them like this to fit more. Mm. These ones are print and cut, so they have like a white box around them, so it is a little bit harder to fit more of them. But we can also make them like some of them really tiny. Also different sizes also. Yeah. Just add a good variety of our flowers. So this is going to be our flower sticker page. Okay. And then um, we'll, we could add the puppy and elephant on our other one. Okay. Does that sound good? Mm-hmm. So I think that's all the stickers we're going to be able to mm -hmm. fit. Um, but that's all we have to do to make mm -hmm. our flower stickers, okay? Okay. So now we're going to open a new document to make our other stickers. You can just press this little page right oh. here. Right. Oh, no the little page. There you little go. Page. Yep. And this opened up another one for us. So mm -hmm. now go back to our first document right there. Oh. Yep. And then we're just going to copy that. So click that one and then we're going to copy it and then we're going to paste it. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go back to one and do with the elephant. Yes. We just added our dog ah. and our elephant to the page, and now we're going to make those um, labels that say okay. like your name and what subject they are. Uh -huh. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to use um, a shape tool over here. Uh -huh. So do you want the labels to be a rectangle or a circle? A circle. A I circle. Think. Okay. So let's do a circle, and then um, we're just going to. Actually, just go ahead and hold down and like draw the circle. Like you can just hold down and drag and it'll make the circle a size, but we can change the size after. So you can just leave it like that actually. Okay. And then I think, let's see, we should make the circle about, um, three, three and a half inches. Let's make it three and a half inches. So we're just going to come up here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to unlock that little padlock. And then uh -huh. right here in the width, can you type 3.5? Three, dot five. three. And then dot right here. Perfect. And so it changed the width of our circle. Uh -huh. And then let's keep it an oval. Um, yeah. So it's not going to be a perfect circle. It's going to be like that, okay? Okay. And I think that looks like a good size. And then... Um, 
just gonna duplicate it? Yes, we're gonna duplicate it, but first we're gonna add in our words. So, um, let's go ahead and we're gonna use this text tool uh -huh. right here, which is how we add words. So I'm gonna click that and then I'm gonna click right here and then um, we wanted it to say Lottie's art folder, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then let's pick a really cute font. Or first off, what color should we make um, this, the font? I guess we can change the color for each folder, huh? Uh -huh. We'll just make it black for right now. Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna choose our font. So to choose our font, I want you to press this, this button right here. And then we have a whole bunch of fonts right here. Mm -hmm. So you can like scroll here. I'll scroll through them mm -hmm. and tell me if you like any of them. So do you want like a, like a scripted, like a one like that, that's like fancy writing, or Ooh, do you that want- fancy writing. Yeah, you like that one? Let's mm -hmm. see what that one looks like. That's cute. Let's see. This one's cute. Oh, that one looks Oh, that cute. one's really cute. Yeah, that one looks All right. good. Okay, so, um, so we're gonna do this font, and mm -hmm. let's actually put each one on a different, or, no, yeah. Let's just put art on top and then folder is going to be underneath it and then mm -hmm. we're going to center it oh whoops okay and now we just need to resize it to fit inside our circle mm -hmm. again so, so will you do the same thing you did with the flowers and just change the size so it fits inside the circle oh you can just click on it yep so a little bit smaller. Oh, you can click the, the letters, yeah. I know sometimes it's hard. <laughs> Wait till it, let's see, hovers, like it changes to the, there we go. Uh, sometimes it just takes a second. Okay. Let's, let's make it a tiny bit smaller just so there's a little bit of space on the side. Perfect. That's great. Okay. All right. And then um, we just need to center it in here mm -hmm. in the circle. So we're just going to draw a rectangle over those two. And then I want you to press the, the two middle buttons right there. Mm -hmm. So press that one and then press that one. This one? Mm hmm And then the one under it. Perfect. And that just puts it in the exact middle of our circle. Mm -hmm. But um, let's go ahead and lower it a tiny bit just because it's counting like yeah. this space down here because it's a text box. So I'm just using the arrow keys to change it. Okay, perfect. So now um, we can change the words well let's change the color first mm -hmm. so to change the color we're going to click the artist palette and then you can pick any color from here that you want mm -hmm. you can make it like if we're going to put this one on the purple folder you can make your letters purple too um i think i'm gonna do like a light pink oh that's really cute i really like that mm -hmm. okay and then also, since we don't want, like, you can see there's that yeah. tiny little red line right there. Um, we just need to come up here, uh -huh. and we just need to click um, this this one right here. Uh -huh. So it makes it so there's not a color on the outside. Okay. Oh, that looks good. Perfect. So that's a very cute mm -hmm. project or sticker. So now we're going to copy this one. Okay, so uh -huh. I'm going to show you another way to copy it. That's uh -huh. really, really cool. So you're just going to hold down the Option key. And then uh -huh. there, it makes that little plus sign right there uh -huh. on the mouse. And then you're just going to drag it across. You see that? Okay. Mm -hmm. And we are going to do duplicate that. We need f five um, folders. Or sh Let's see. We can only fit four stickers on this one. So, so should we smaller these two? Um, yeah, let's do that. That's a good idea. So go ahead and make those smaller. Oh, sorry, that was my fault. There you go. Make it quite a bit smaller. Like there this? you go, that's perfect. 
Okay. Just... Oh, sorry. We didn't group those together yet. Okay. So do you want to group those? Do you remember how to do it? Um, no. Okay. So we just draw a rectangle over them oh, like that. Right. And then we click with two fingers. Draw a rectangle over mm -hmm. them. Then you click with two fingers and then you hit group. group. There we go. So go ahead and, and do that with the other one too. So now we can change the words on this one. So um, um, we had science, right? And then this one we have math. math. And we can make the words smaller on some mm. of them if we need to. And then we had reading. And then writing was the last yes. one, right? Okay. Um, so then let's change the colors. So pick a color for the science folder. Hmm, what does this look like? Oh, that's cute. I like yeah, that one. Because it's going to go on this one. Yeah, on the and blue. Okay. And then, yeah, click one. the letters. Like, oh. click on top of the letters. Yep. And, and then, then, let's see, math, we could put it on the red folder. Um, what would go with red? Um, could you yellow that might look cute do you like that yeah yeah okay okay and then click this and then and then let's put reading on the orange yeah then the orange. okay yes. and then we just have the yellow folder for writing mm -hmm. Hey, okay. perfect. Very cute. I like it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to go ahead and change, make these a little bit smaller so they fit inside our circle mm -hmm. and they don't get cut off. The math one, we're just going to make it a tiny bit smaller. Okay, and the science one I think is good. Uh -huh. So now we're gonna regroup these again uh -huh. the same way we already did. So it's a little bit the same, but we're just going to draw the little rectangle and then do group. So do you wanna do that for the other four? Mm -hmm. So make sure you have the circle and the rectangle, or the circle and the letters. Oh, what? whoops. So I think it's easiest if you just start up here and then you just draw a little one like that. Okay, and then hit this. Mm -hmm. And hit group. Yep. Yeah, just like that. Lottie, my mom has a silhouette machine and I think you already know how to do more than she knows how to do. Oh, hold on, we grabbed the... Oh. You are just so smart, you're so good at it. Oh, we don't want to grab this one. Here, maybe start over here and then draw the rectangle that way. There you go, that's good. Oh, that one's tricky here there we go okay and then do the last one okay and now the last thing we need to do is we just need to make our um last one fit so i'm just gonna move these up a little, little. bit and then and we're then just gonna just... move this one up and they all fit super mm -hmm. good so there is only one more thing we need to do before we go and print these to um, uh. cut them out. And we just need to make sure that our machine is only going to cut out the outside. So we uh. don't want it to cut out like the letters. If yes. we were making it out of paper or vinyl, we would want it to do that. But since yeah. they're stickers, we don't want that. So we just need to come up here to the send panel. Uh -huh. And then see anything that has a red outline is going to cut with the blade. So what we need to do is we just need to click our different stickers and then we just need to click cut edge right here. And see now it's just gonna so, cut the oval. Does that okay. make sense? So will you do that for uh -huh. the other four? And our elephant and our dog are already set to do that. Oh, I don't think that one's selected. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Kay. Wow, you're a natural. Okay, and then we're going to go back to our 
uh -huh. flower yeah. one and just do the same thing but for this one we can do it all, all at sense. once and these ones since they're print and cut designs they're actually already set to do that so we're good we don't need to change anything for this one you just made a hat yep Gosh. you can click that one oh mm -hmm. actually this one we just want regular oh. Oh, whoops so actually for this one we don't even need to change anything uh -oh. we can just leave it the okay. same because the artist that made these made them as stickers so we can just leave it that way and we can delete this little elephant and this dog and now we are just going to come up here to file uh -huh. and then come to print Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to click print right here. Okay, so we just grabbed our prints from the printer. So I printed, well, we printed two different of the flowers. So we have them to decorate. And then we have one of this page for our labels and our two little animals too. So let's go ahead and cut the animals and the labels first, Lottie. So go ahead and peel off this blue protective cover of the mat. This just comes with the machine and the mat so that we can put it back on when we're not using it so it doesn't get extra dirty and we can have it stay sticky for longer. Line up the corner yeah. with like this corner right there, that Close. little gray line. Just yeah, like there you go. Perfect. There yep, and then just stick it down really, really nice. Mm -hmm. And then to load it, you're going to line this edge of the mat up with this line on the machine right here. Okay. okay. Oh, the, actually the one further in. There oh. you go. That one right there. And then okay. press that little upward button on the other side, the upward arrow. Perfect. Okay. And now we're going to go back into our, so our software to tell the machine to cut it. Kay. So we have our page pulled up and then we're just gonna come to the send panel. Uh -huh. So will you click that? And then um, we need to select the material that we're using. Yeah. So come up here where it says vinyl glossy and we are actually using printable vinyl um, mm -hmm. for our stickers today. So you're gonna open that drop down menu and then I'm gonna start typing vinyl and then you're gonna click this one that says printable. Yep, that one. And then can you change this? Can you press that button to make it a blade depth of two? That's just what, yeah, that's good right mm -hmm. there. I just have found that that works good for cutting in my experience. So then the very last step, you just have to come down here and press send. Perfect. So it's reading those black marks right now so that the mm -hmm. machine knows where to cut. So it just finished cutting, so we're gonna wait for it to unload like that. And then something I always do is I just like to make sure that it cut. So we're just gonna try and peel it back a little bit and make sure that it cut, and it mm -hmm. did. Um, so now you're just gonna press that downward arrow button to unload it. And then you can just press the off button on the machine and then fold the little lid down, and we're all done with the machine now. So let's go ahead now and take this off. So turn this over and then pull the mat away from the page. Yeah. It's kind of sticky and hard, huh? Mm -hmm. There you go, perfect. All right, and then let's put our blue cover back on our mat. And then we just get to do the funnest part, or <laughs> sorry, the most fun part of the project. And we are going to um, decorate all of our folders. Mm -hmm. So, let's do our um, labels first. Mm -hmm. So I think the, your first one goes on the purple folder, mm -hmm. right? Do you care if I put the other ones or no. do some of them too while you're doing them? Which one do you want to put your elephant on? I think the blue one. Okay, that will be really cute. And you can put them wherever you mm -hmm. want. These are your folders, so. Awesome! 
Wow, Lottie, I love how these mm -hmm. turned out. I feel like they're just perfect for you, uh -huh. don't you think? Like, they're your favorite things, and they're super fun. The little dog is so fun. Uh -huh. All right, so thanks so much for joining us today. We're super excited to see your homework folders you're gonna make or whatever you're gonna use with your customized stickers. So make sure to tag us at silhouette.ink on Instagram so we can see your projects, and make sure to join us next time as well. See ya! Thank you.